Hi, my name is David Perry. I'm a professor of chemistry at the University of British Columbia. I've been working on a particular mushroom toxin with the hope of using it to cure cancer. Amanitin is a toxin that's found in several mushroom species, most notably the mushroom Amanita phylloides, which is also known as the death cap mushroom. And it's probably the mushroom that gives all mushrooms a bad name. It's the mushroom that if you eat it, you die. The toxin itself is about 100 times more toxic than cyanide. There's a current increasing interest, both academically and industrially, for using toxins to treat cancer. And the idea is to take a homing device, like an antibody directed against cancer, and then to load it up with these toxic payloads. Those toxins typically only target rapidly growing cells. So we think of cancer as being a rapidly growing uh, cell type. But behind many tumors, there are slow growing progenitor cells that continue to replenish the tumor. What's unique about amanitin is a toxin that will, it will kill both rapidly growing as well as quiescent or slow growing cells. So we looked at the textbooks and this is something that's taught to every second year uh, biochemist that amanitin is one of the most toxic compounds known. And yet we looked at this in over 60 years, no one had ever synthesized it. If you can make something, you can control it. When you can control it, you can use it for curative properties. And so one of the key things was to assemble the parts to do a synthesis. When we make it, we can make what are called derivatives. Derivatives are going to give us different cancer-killing uh, possibilities. We hope to attenuate the toxicity of this toxin so that we'll spare the liver and other organs that would be normally targeted by the toxin, and it'll make a, a toxin that's super toxic to cancer cells, but not toxic to normal cells. That's our hope in our synthetic derivatives.